A Palm Bay woman accused of killing two of her children and trying to murder her infant will remain in the Brevard County Jail with no bond this afternoon. Jessica McCarty was supposed to hear the charges against her this afternoon, but about two hours ago, she waived her right to see the judge. Palm Bay police say she called 911 Friday to report the horrific crime scene at her home on Kenmore Street Northwest. Channel 9's Anthony DiLorenzo is live at Florida Hospital for Children this afternoon in Orlando, where the sole surviving child is on life support. And Darlene, I just checked with Palm Bay police. Sadly, no change in that baby's condition here at the hospital. His family continues to keep vigil by his bedside, hoping for a miracle while his mother will stay behind bars. Dressed in a suicide prevention vest and in a wheelchair, in Jessica McCartney's mugshot, you can see bandages on her wrists after an apparent attempt to take her life. The 33-year-old is under a mental health watch inside the Brevard County Jail. Jessica McCarty. She was a no-show in court this morning after the judge agreed to waive her right to be present for her first appearance. No bond. Accused of killing her own children, she was ordered held without bond, at least until a future hearing. At this hour, her five-month-old son, Christopher Swift, is reportedly on life support. His brother and sister, Lacey and Philip McCarty, died Friday night. Palm Bay police say their mother killed them. Officers responded to their home on Kenmore Street and confronted her while bloody and wielding a knife. Now back behind bars, we've learned more about McCarty's checkered criminal past and intervention from Child Protection Services. In 2009, DCF opened a case into possible child neglect. They referred her to mental health counseling. McCarty has been arrested for forgery, shoplifting, and prescription drug abuse. The state now looking into whether this family tragedy could have been prevented. Autopsies for the two children who were killed age six and seven should be completed today, giving investigators a better idea how they died. In the meantime, family members continue posting on Facebook about baby Christopher Swift's recovery, saying that he is a fighter. Reporting live from Florida Hospital in Orlando, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.